Okay, the Miami draw has just been revealed for the WTA, and we have some big names that are playing. It's almost like a mini slam. It's kind of like what Indian Wells was last week. But there are some names not playing, so let's go to the withdrawal list. We have Elise Cornet. She's pulled out. Conservate, Osorio, Risk, Teague, and Van Utvank is pulled out. So no major names on the women's side. And sometimes we've got Fiontech who is in a little bit of injury concern. But let's go to the top of the draw. All right. 32 seeds in this one. The top 32, all 32 get a buy in the first round. Fiontech, the number one seed, buy in the first round. She'll take on the winner of Sinia Koba versus Lou. She did play Lou last week, so that could be a rematch of Indian Wells. It was a pretty easy win for Fiontech. Uh, then you've got a qualifier taking on Kovinic. Winner plays Trevison, the 25th seed, in the second round. Then you've got Ostapenko, the number 24 seed. She'll take on either Paulina or a qualifier in the second round. Uh, then you've got another qualifier taking on Corpatch. Winner plays the 13th seed, Hadaj Maya. So potentially a fourth round matchup with Hadaj Maya or Ostapenko against Fiontech. Both ladies beat Fiontech at different stages last year on hard court. So not the easiest draw from the fourth round onwards for Sviantec potentially. Next section of the draw, we've got Rabakina, number 10 seed. She plays either Kellen Skaya or Kazan, Kazan Seva in the second round. Uh, then you've got Shrift taking on a qualifier. Winner plays the 21st seed, Bedosa. Bedosa versus Rabakina, third round. Very, very fun matchup there. Then you've got Martic, the 29th seed, taking on either Fruvitova or Wong, who are playing the first round. Uh, Mertens takes on Parks. Winner plays Kazakina, the number eight seed, in the second round. So then you've got maybe Kazakina taking on the winner of Bedosa and Rabakina, if you're going to go by the seeds. Next part of the draw is the second quarter of the draw. You've got Pagula, number three seed. She'll take on either a qualifier or Fruvitova. Very interesting to see if she plays Fruvitova, who's been in very, very good form uh, the last couple of months. Uh, then you've got a qualifier takes on Davis. Winner plays the number 30 seed Collins in the second round. Collins Pagula, third round. That would be fun. Then you've got Lynette, the 20th seed, by in the first round. She'll take on either Pera or Redina in the second round. Uh, then you've got Georgie taking on Kanepi. Winner takes on Azarenka, the 14th seed. And if Lynette and Azarenka win, that'll be a rematch of the Australian Open semi final of this year. And also the winner of this will take on possibly Pagula in a quarter final or a fourth round. Then you've got Samson Over, number 12 seed. She'll take on either a qualifier or Baptist in the second round. And then you've got Ayala, Ayala taking on Pagu. Winner plays the number 23 seed Zhang in the second round. So Zhang Samson over. That's a fun uh, third round potentially. Then you got Potapova buying the first round. She'll take on either Kostyuk or Chucky Aretta in the second round. Then you got Putin Seven Marino. Winner plays Goff, the number six seed in the second round. So Goff versus Zhang. Fourth round. That would be fun. That'd be a lot of fun if we can get that matchup. Next section of the draw, we've got probably the craziest section of the draw. Zachary, number seven seed, gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on the winner of Andrescu and Rodu Kanu. Remember last week I said, I want to see that match. I want to see Fiontech versus Rodu Kanu. We saw that. I want to see Andrescu versus Rodu Kanu. That's what we're seeing this week. How did we get that working? Winner plays Zachary. We get to see Madness. That part of the draw must watch on day one. Then you've got Kennan versus Qualifier. Winner plays Kalanina, the number 28 seed in the second round. Kennan's also in that section. Insane. Then you've got Alexandrova, uh, number 18 seed. She'll wait the winner of Bondaire versus Tau in the second round. Then you've got a qualifier taking on Fernandez. Winner plays the number nine seed, Benchich. Fernandez versus Benchich. Second round. That's fun. I think we've seen them play a few times over the last 12 months, and it's always been fire. So excited for that one. Didn't they play at the French Open? Possibly. Uh, also, this section of the draw takes on the Sakri section, so uh, Benchich, Sakri, if we go off the seeds, is a fourth round. Then you've got Kvitova, the 15th seed. Winner play, uh, she'll be waiting the winner of Bronzetti and Noskova in that first round. Uh, then you've got Anissimova versus Brengel. Winner plays the number 22 seed Vekic in the second round. So Vekic Kvitova. That's a fun third round. Then you've got Song, number 26 seed. She'll take on either Andre Andreva or Kruger in that first, second round. Then you've got a qualifier versus Nevska. Winner plays the number four seed Jabur in the second round. Uh, Jabur's got a nice draw. You know, she hasn't had a good draw this year. You know, Indian Welsh she had to play Von Drusova. Australian Open, she lost to Von Drusova. So it'd be nice to see, you know, Jabur maybe get a little bit of a run going on here with a good draw. Uh, possible fourth round against Vekic or Kvitova. Uh, then you got Garcia, number five seed in the bottom section of the draw. She's going to await the winner of Gomez or Castella. We're going at it. Castella was in good form last week, so that could be a tough second round. Uh, Tykerman taking on qualifier. Winner plays Zoo, the 32nd seed. 
who has been in good form lately. So keep an eye out for Zoo uh, and Garcia in that third round. That could be a tough one for Garcia. Then you got Pliskova, number 17 seed. She'll take on the winner of Wong or a qualifier. Then you got Von Drusova and Maria playing each other. Winner plays the number 11 seed, Kudamatova. So Kudamatova versus Garcia. Possible fourth round if we go off the seeds. Then the bottom part of the draw, you've got the number 16 seed, Krajikova. She takes on either Sasnovich or Gelfi in the second round. Then you got Montgomery taking on Bogdan. Winner plays the number 19 seed, Keys. Keys, Krajikova. That's a very fun third round. Then the last section of the draw, Buzkova, 31 seed. She'll take on either Blinkova or Niemeyer in the second round. Then you got Stevens versus Rogers. Very fun matchup. Winner plays Sabalenka. <coughs> the number two seed. And yes, we might see the trilogy between Krajikova and Sabalenka fourth round. They played the fourth round in Indian Wells. They played in Dubai. It could be three top big tournaments in a row that these two meet and we get a trilogy. Let me know. What do you think? It's a pretty open draw. I don't think anyone really has a bad draw. Maybe Sakri, obviously, with that Andrescu Rodokanu matchup in the second round. Uh, she's going to play one of them. So maybe Sakri's at the worst draw, but it seems like everyone's got a pretty even draw. You know, Krajikova and Rabakina are both in the sections of uh, Sviantek and uh, Sabalenka. So Krajikova, Sabalenka, Rabakina, Sviantek. We could be getting those matches again this week, uh, as we did last week, and we have gotten before. So I don't know. I don't think anyone's really got a tough draw except for maybe Sakri. But let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win this event? Remember, Shvantec is the defending champion. Can she back it up? Uh, she couldn't back it up in Indian Wells. And remember, Miami's a little bit of a faster court, so it might be a little harder for her to do that. But let me know who's going to win this event.